Hello folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is keeping well. So let's see first of all what the story is, what is coming out and we'll kind of go from there and we'll see what we um, are looking for. So what is the current situation? Okay, so some of you are dealing with someone here who is... Okay, so this person shows you attention but it's sort of like in cycles. Um, and they're certainly not offering commitment. So if you're committed to this person, this is not going to be your reading. And um, this person here is showing up, uh, very passionate. You know, there's obviously an attraction between you both. Uh, when you guys are sort of like on, it's it's really good. Um, but they're sort of like holding back from offering you anything significant here. Um, it does seem to be more casual, uh, situationship, friends with benefits, that sort of thing. Yeah, there's no plans for the future okay i'm not seeing any sort of big plans here that you guys were making or that this this person's making for some of you you are in a different country or at a distance from this person this person could also be someone who is uh, very focused on their work uh, their business life that sort of thing and um, it could take up a lot of their time um, it could also be the distance thing uh, that could be an issue for this person um, but this person could for some of you be committed to somebody else okay there's like somebody that's dependent on this person that's only for some of you. Okay, so it looks like you'd set some sort of boundary with this person. Yeah, because they were not respecting you, right? This person was not making you feel valued. This person was not making you feel like you were a priority. Um, this in and out behavior from this person was uh, just not cutting it for you. It just wasn't cutting it for you. You lifted this sword and you've set some sort of boundary uh, with this energy. Good, what else? The sun. So I don't think that this was something that you particularly you know, wanted to do. Obviously, you have an attraction towards this person. Um, you're obviously hoping that something here uh, could progress with this person. Um, but you're sort of seeing a lack of growth. Princess of Wands in chat, or sorry, in reverse. So um, I feel like at this time there's like a lack of motivation. I don't feel like you guys are talking um, at all. I think you've set a boundary with this person. And right now it seems to be that any sort of potential that could have been between you both has been uh, snuffed out. Yeah, look, I'm getting Ace of Wands in reverse. So it sort of feels like the desire, the passion is still there, but uh, it's not being ignited uh, there's like a potential for uh, this to be ignited but you're just like not allowing it so uh, from judging by these cards i would say that you have took some distance from this person or you have pulled back so you've either cut this person off completely like no contact you're not speaking to this person it's an ex um, or like someone from your past um, and then for others of you this is someone here that you are um setting boundaries with like now <laughs> um, and you're maybe in the process of, you know of thinking about cutting this person off because you don't see growth so um, there is a helicopter. It feels like it's shaking. They're gonna shake the shell so loud, doesn't that? That's about. Okay, so let's see. I'll put these cards back in, and we are going to look at uh, this person's thoughts about you and their feelings for you, and then we look and see if. Um, this person is going to shift, change, or anything like that, or if it's worth even, you know, anything with this person, what's likely to happen. So what is this person's thoughts about you? The hanged man. Again, I feel like this person here is uh, feeling like they're stuck or tied up in something. So again, it could be work, uh, it could be another, you know, commitment of some sort. The Emperor. There's definitely some sort of responsibility here. This person could be, uh, again, someone who travels for work quite a lot. Um, this could be someone here who um, has a family or something. Um, or there are there are like some sort of differences perhaps between you both. This person feels like you have, um, well, okay, I'm gonna say something here and you're not gonna like it, <laughs> but this person feels like they have been um, kind of treated unfairly. Um, they feel like um, it's, but it's not like, it's not coming through as like, um, they're, they're looking at this from every sort of different angle and perspective and all of that, but the sort of conclusion that they're getting seems to be wrong. They're kind of coming at this more from the angle of, you know, like a child almost, you know, um, where you kind of like, you know, you, you teach your children, that, you know, you don't do that and you're not supposed to do that, it's not right. <laughs> I don't be at that crack leg. <laughs> um, 
but then they can huff, you know, even if they can like process it and understand it. Like my son can understand it, you know, like, you know, he shouldn't have done that or he might not have done that, it's wrong or, you know, whatever. And uh, But at the same time, he still doesn't kind of like the, the result of it. You know, I could take something off him or, um, you know, whatever. Um, like yesterday, there was a whole big um, Becky debate went on for five minutes about how many biscuits that he wanted. And I said he could have three max, um, but he wanted four. <laughs> he started with five and then he kind of said four and then he wanted two and then he wanted two more after that. And you know, it was a whole thing. And I was like, right, you're getting none. You're not getting any Vickies. Uh, so he wasn't really like, I did give him Vickies, but um, it's not like uh, he, he enjoyed, um, he didn't get the five Vickies that he wanted originally. So he kind of feels like he's a little bit hard done by in a sense. Something similar, um, kind of not putting it back to the original action, which could have been that, you know, something was done you know that was not right um, so consequences of actions really um, so this person is looking at all of this but they're kind of because of this emperor it looks like this person's kind of in this energy where um, if I had to be honest and kind of express it myself I would say you know forgive them you know if that's how you're gonna act um, I don't think that you know you're treating me fairly and me, 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 me. so thinking about um, him or, or herself without really that perspective of their own behavior. Okay, so this person's sort of blaming you. Princess of Pentacles, King of Swords. This person feels like, you know, what they were giving to you was possibly adequate. Judgment, it's in reverse, okay? So this person's not getting any sort of clarity over the situation. Um, it is showing up that there's like a strong connection here between you both, so there could be some sort of um, soul connection here, but, um, the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. So um, this person may be feeling like it could be uh, like a foolish sort of um, choice or option here to uh, try to reignite something with you here, especially if you have set a boundary with this person already, um, you know, spoke some sort of truth to this person and they have like actively chose not to um, kind of upgrade. So um, right now they're thinking about all this, they're feeling kind of hard done by, they're kind of huffing by the looks of things. Um, you know, they're kind of just like stuck in this energy and they're, te they're telling themselves that um, it's best perhaps not to uh, give you a significant offer, say reach out if it's no contact or um, step up, you know, open up to you emotionally, all of that, because um, they're kind of acting a little bit like a child, like a toddler, but right, let's see, what are this person's feelings for you? I'm going to use a different deck, this one. Ace of Wands, so for sure, desire, passion, but sure there's no, um, there's no problem in that department. Uh, this person was showing up as the Knight of Wands um, initially anyway. Uh, the only thing is the problem actually is sort of there because um, this person's like really attracted to you to the point where um, they kind of feel like, even though they've got this sense of control and stuff, um, if, if there was, you know, sort of anything that was gonna kind of um, ignite this and like, <laughs> it would be your energy. Four of Pentacles, they're trying, to keep a, they're trying to keep a lid on this. They're trying to keep a lid on this, but it's like a pressure cooker here. But again, I have to say, it's being driven here by um, like desire. Right, this person feels like uh, the relationship is finished. So I would say there's more than likely here um, a no contact situation. They want to have a new beginning with you here, but they're keeping it to themselves because they know that there's some sort of change that would be needed and they're not ready to do that. Look at the devil. Death. Again, it's just what I was saying. This person's resistant to some sort of change here. Knight of Swords. Seven of Cups. So this person's feelings for you, they're feeling like they're restricted. They feel like they have to sort of hold something in, hold something back uh, from you. Um, it's because they don't want change, um, quite literally. And I mean, they're not really, at the same time, thinking of this as being something that's kind of their fault, you know? So uh, you're sort of left with someone here who is feeling kind of like um, you took their favorite toy away. But I'm not saying that that you're a toy, but like, I mean, um, they're saying it in the sense that like they've, they've lost something here that they really, really wanted. And, um, you know, they're not really, uh, happy about that. Uh, it's making them focus on you just like a little bit more than um, maybe even they were when you guys were connecting with each other. So this person here is um, 
wanting you to again it's like you know when you know you're not allowed to have something and uh, it just makes you want it more like when you say to yourself you're starting a diet you suddenly find yourself wanting to eat things that you don't normally eat uh, like chocolate or something like I don't eat a lot of chocolate I'm not really a fan of chocolate I prefer like crisps you know and stuff like that um but if I said to myself, right, I'm going on a diet, uh, suddenly I want to eat chocolate. Um, it's kind of like knowing that you can't have it. Um, so, you know, there's something sort of like building in this person, um, but ultimately this person here feels like um, they would need to create a big change in their life. So that would either be settling down, giving you more opening up, changing how they're approaching this connection, um, or making some sort of change in their life to make you know, room uh, for this connection, a romantic connection. Um, this person here is, um, they could be feeling a little bit angry as well but again it's coming back to that like frustrated ang um, energy that I was getting so it's kind of petulant so that's what it feels like it's like petulant I think this person's a bit annoyed at you uh, even though I don't think that this person really has any right to be annoyed this person kind of feels like what they were giving you was great was lovely was wonderful like how could you how could you not be happy how could you not be happy what do you like wanting a little bit more that's what this person say the queen of cups I think you wanted more of an emotional connection from this person I think that that's what was missing some of you did want commitment though as well and you feel rejected by this person for some of you this person is in another relationship like I said or is bound by something to do with like culture or religion um, but the desire is there um, this person just feels like they can't really you know um, do anything so it looks like this person's just sort of like left with their thoughts over this and they kind of feel like um, if they sort of like reached out or something now to you that you would not be interested um, and I don't think that this person can handle this not in this energy because they're kind of already showing up as you know being a little bit immature uh, with regards to things so um, it's probably if they're not communicating with you it's because this person knows that they can't really um, accept you know some sort of like rejection or something at this time so um, but they're kind of telling themselves that it's your fault anyway so um, right let's see let me get some oracle cards let's see put you back over there what will we get these ones oh okay so we have rebound casual some of you this person you know is uh, looking for you know other sort of connections and stuff like that to distract themselves from you i did see that earlier and um, i have a look closely it is not as it seems Feminine energy is also coming out. And we have justice, speed and action. Okay, so I think that uh, basically with speed and action, I think this person was not coming out of a cycle. It was just repeating. It was not really making any progress. It was not really making uh, you know any sort of, sort of forward strides. Um, I think that you took a look at this, looked at, looked at yourself, your own energy. Um, it says here, look closely, feminine energy. It's not what it seems. I think that this is something that you realize about this person. Um, and you created justice for yourself in this situation um, by cutting this person off or by um, setting boundaries with them. Look, blocked silence in the end. <laughs> So it's funny um, that that's that card. Uh, we have new love coming out and autumn. So some of you uh, could be uh, meeting a new love situation in the autumn time. It says expect changes. And um, we also have yes and yes coming out, clarifying the justice card. So you're making the correct decision here. Spiritual awakening is also coming out, intuition. So uh, your intuition is playing a big part of this. Um, even though, look, like, fate, karmic cycles. So even though uh, you do feel like there's a strong connection here, some of you may be feeling like it is a karmic connection or that you guys have some sort of karma um, to sort of clear with each other. Um, you're not looking at it as, you know, you have to be with this person. You know, you're seeing it for what it is and uh, you're kind of accepting it uh, for, what, for what it is. So um, that is what I'm seeing. I am going to look at the next six months now in an extended. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description box below. I'm going to look at um, this person's thoughts and feelings a little bit more. And then we will look at the next six months. I want to see if this person's going to try to uh, show back up again because it does look like this comes in cycle. So I would not be surprised even if right now this person's feeling sort of um, like it's your fault that, you know, I'm month down the line they're not um, making some sort of moves but I want to see uh, what those moves are and um, if anything so um, yes um, I hope that that has helped thank you all very very much and I hope you all have lovely days thank you bye bye